Hello and welcome to another Sonic Review. My name's Tosh from Widge Productions and welcome to Studio Widge, my home setup. Today we're going to be taking a look at Universal Audio's UAD version 9.2 software and in particular focusing in on the Antares Autotune real-time plugin. So UAD software version 9.2 comes with a batch of new plugins and there really is something for everyone in here. Um, for you guitar and bass heads there's a couple of great sounding amp models and these are both Unison enabled so that allows the instrument to interact with the preamp in a more realistic way. Uh, let's have a look for the bass amp model now. It's a Eden WT800. I've had a chance to use one of these on a, on a few gigs and they're really lovely sounding amps so it's great to see it here um, developed in conjunction with Softube on the UA platform. And just to give you a quick whiz through some of the sounds, that was a, I think that was a Motown, muted Motown overdrive. We've got a whole range of great presets to get you in the ballpark um, that you can tweak from. A bit of messy slap for you there. And let's see what else we got. Um, You get the idea, very versatile, um, great sounding amp model. Now guitarists um, are also in for a treat because we've got the Fuchs Train 2 guitar amp and this is a, a lovely sounding amp which has been um, developed in conjunction with Brainworks um, for the UA platform. <laughs> Let's find um, something at the opposite end of the spectrum there. So a kind of clean, bright sound. Now, I'm not the greatest guitarist, so we're not doing this justice, but you get the idea there. Um, so now for mix heads, there is this wonderful pure plate plugin. This draws on UA's experience in developing the EMC140 plate reverb and kind of provides it in a very straightforward, easy to use and great sounding package. So I'll use this guitar sound from earlier to demonstrate. Very evocative and vibey reverb there. Um, and another plugin that's just been made available is the SSL G bus compressor. Now, it's a bus compressor nominally. I've stuck it here on a guitar track just for a very quick example. Um, but if you check on the UA website, there's some great demos of how versatile it is on the, the mix bus. And it comes with a ton of presets by uh, various producers and engineers giving you some of their vibe. And that's just a very quick overview of those additional plugins. Now, um, there's one I haven't mentioned, which is, of course, the Antares Autotune, and that's going to be the basis for the rest of this review. So here's an instance of the plugin. And um, in order to help demonstrate how this works in real time, I've enlisted the help of the lovely Caroline, who's over in the booth and is going to sing for us. Um, now, we've got the mic channel coming in here, and I've got Autotune there in the, the inserts. And just as a quick overview of how the plugin's laid out, you've got this control here which basically determines how the tracking responds to the incoming audio. And for example, you can relax it if you've got noisier or breathier signals. Now you've got this section here which kind of deals with the, the pitch quantization, so you can set the key and the scale that the correction is going to snap the, the audio to. Down here you've got the main pitch correction control, so how much and how quickly the pitch correction responds. And over here we've got an artificial vibrato control. The keyboard down here in these settings allow you to set 
the um, target notes via MIDI control. And I'll demonstrate all of these as we go through. Um, before we do any of that, one thing that I'd like to show you, which I've set up beforehand and I think is a very useful and powerful feature of the plugin, is the MIDI mapping. So via this options panel, I can set any parameter within the plugin virtually um, to be controlled in real time by my MIDI controller. So I've set up a few of these knobs already. And as you can see, as I twist them on my controller, they respond. And this is a, a very useful feature if you're tracking in real time or you want to do some creative effects using the, the plugin. So let's just set all these down to where we want them. Now, um, let's start by just seeing the effect of the retune speed, which is probably the most powerful parameter within the plugin. Um, Caroline, if you could just improvise something for me, anything you want, um, running up and down scales and, and playing around, and I'll demonstrate the, the auto tune speed. Thank you. La, 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 so we've got it slow here. So this means so that the pitch correction comes in quite gradually. And as I crank it up, it now snaps to pitch very quickly. Now, if I change the scale over here, this basically determines the actual key and scale that the audio will be snapped to. And you'll see here, these are the notes that are allowed. And you can bypass them or remove them from the tuning individually as you wish. Let's go back to chromatic. OK, thank you for that. And now let's do um, something which has a little bit of variation in, so small variations around a pitch. Um, and I've asked her to do that so I can demonstrate this correction style. So normally, in when this is set to zero, it's going to try and tune every single note to the nearest semitone in this case, because it's chromatic. But as I crank that up, the tolerance around each note reduces, so it allows through more variation, so you can have a more expressive performance. And if we crank that up with a bit more speed. Lovely. OK. And then we've got this humanized control down here. Now, the idea behind this is that it will allow you to differentiate between long and short notes. So you can use a faster speed for short notes, and it won't warble on long sustained notes. So let's see that in action. OK, Caroline, if, could you do something that has um, lots of fast notes, but then long sustained notes in it as well, please? La -ba -na 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 -na. So you can see there that the corrections catching the sustain notes and making them wobble. So if I turn up humanize, it takes a bit of getting used to, to to actually get the right settings on these. But you can get a very natural sounding correction using a combination of these parameters. OK, that's lovely. Now, could you just do me a sustained note with vibrato, please? And I shall demonstrate this vibrato control down here. So we can increase the level of vibrato, natural vibrato, or reduce it. OK, thank you. So there's also this um, button here, which if you've got a lot of natural vibrato in the performance, this will stop it toggling between two adjacent notes, which will give you a really warbly sound. Um, another thing we can do is we can add vibrato. So that's what this whole section is over here. Um, now vibrato, it's not just about pitch variation, it's amplitude and formant variation. So they've allowed for this in the plugin and you've got pitch amount, amplitude amount and formant that you can um, apply to the incoming audio. You can change the rate of it and the way it comes in and how much variation there is in it. So let's just demonstrate this with a simple bit of sine wave um, modulation. And I've mapped the main parameters down here as well as the rate. So Caroline, could you just sing a sustained note with no vibrato, please? La and we add some amplitude and 
four months. This is obviously very exaggerated. But you can see how powerful that is. And you can do some interesting creative effects with that. Okay, lovely. Now, um, we're going to try, just say, um, sing some sustain notes for me. They don't have to be the same. So I can demonstrate the the target notes via MIDI option, which means I can use the keyboard. That's probably quite extreme, so let's do it like that. And this is guaranteed to put, send your singer into fits of laughter, but let's make it sound a bit less ridiculous. So you can see that you can control the, the pitch correction and play in. I mean, imagine if you were singing and playing at the same time, you could create some very interesting harmonies and textures doing this way. So as a creative tool, it's very powerful. Okay, lovely, thank you. And no auto-tune review would be complete without mentioning the ubiquitous auto-tune effect. And just to demonstrate how easy it is to achieve that with this plugin, um, what I'll do is I'll set it up now. Now you need to use a scale rather than using chromatic tuning because it doesn't seem to work very well. You won't get that sound with um, chromatic quantization. Uh, so let's see. Caroline, do you think you could um, just do something in the sort of auto tune vibe? La, la, e, ha, 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 ha. So there you go. So you crank the speed up you get that classic sound and you can obviously tweak things with the human eyes and correction style to adjust the performance dependingly. And obviously modulating that retune speed allows you to emphasize the effect during certain passages, for example. Okay, thank you, that's lovely. Right, okay, so you've seen how the parameters all work in isolation. Um, let's just do a live tracking example just to see how, how well it performs in that, in that situation. So for the purposes of this example, I'm gonna use a, a kind of jazzier piece. Now usually, I say usually, but off, quite often it's pop vocals that get tuned and we're talking about fairly simple melodies and sticking to a key. Um, Using a jazzier tune is a bit more tricky because often there's modulations in the key, there may be a bit more inflection in the in the voice in the performance. So let's see how well it how naturally it can track. Um, so for this example, we're going to use a little snippet of a classic Jobim tune, Agua de Bebe, which Caroline's going to sing for us. So let's just get the basic parameters reset. <laughs> Okay, so I'll bypass the plugin first, so you can hear the natural performance. And now we'll kick it in for this. And let's see if we can get a natural sounding correction. Bypass again. And let's kick it back in. So you can see the plugin working, it's really doing a bit of a nip and tuck here. And I can play with that on the fly just to try and keep it as human as possible. Comparison without again. And back in. Okay, so there you go. Thank you, Caroline, that's lovely. So you can see that. 
it's possible to get a very subtle effect there. And really that was just doing a bit of a nip and tuck job. And in reality, I probably wouldn't be using this because we've got a great singer and um, the style of music doesn't really lend itself that well to auto-tuning. But as a, a kind of safety net and just keeping those pitches bang on, it does the job and it can do it in a subtle manner. And now for a quick example of something not quite so subtle um, and a little bit more creative and imaginative in terms of using the, the plugin. What I've got here is a, a little track we've thrown together with a vocal line that we're going to modulate using the um, Antares Auto-Tune. Now the way I'm going to modulate that is by using a MIDI keyboard fed through an arpeggiator. So here in Ableton I've got my MIDI keyboard input coming into the arpeggiator and then the output is routed via this setting to the Auto-Tune plugin. So you can see that when I hold down a set of keys, I'm getting an arpeggiator coming into it. So I'm going to use that to alter the pitch of the audio. And I've also mapped some of the arpeggiator parameters. So I can control this rate and the um, gating on it, just to give some more variation. So let's hear this track in isolation, the vocal track. <laughs> So you can see we've got quite a range of um, things that we can do to manipulate that, that vocal sound. So let's just um, put it in context of the whole track and see what kind of a, kind of a sound we can create. So that's just a very rough example of um, some of the creative possibilities with the plugin. Now, obviously, not all of that was musical, not all of that was um, useful, but there were some nice effects in there. And given the real time nature of the plugin, it's a case of kind of approaching it like an instrument and learning how to use it in this context, um, which, you know, I've only kind of very briefly done here. Uh, but what I wanted to show you there is that. It's kind of, it's down to your imagination really. You've got on one hand this surgical tool for correcting vocals and making them sound pitch perfect. And on the other hand, you've got um, another option in your toolkit for bending and warping vocals and coming up with some new interesting sounds. All right, so this means the, the reviews about drawing to a close. A um, couple of more things left to say. Antares also in real time and the other plugins that we mentioned at the start of the review are all available as part of the version 9.2 software upgrade which you can download from Universal Audio's website. Now at time of going to press, um, Autotune Real Time is retailing at £189. And of course, as with all the UAD plugins, you've got a fully functional 14 day demo if you wanna try it out and see if it's something for you. So there you have it, UAD version 9.2 featuring Autotune Real Time. I hope you've enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.